I'm gonna go to today's news. I'm gonna backtrack to uh, the way more important thing. But I'll, uh, for the people who haven't uh, seen it, which I don't know, I guess you'd be under a rock to not see it. Um, I don't even know if you can still call. Yeah, let's call him. Uh, rapper Takashi Six Nine. He's been out of prison. I want to say for maybe like a month or whatever, because I think he got out either at the beginning of February or towards the end of March because of the whole coronavirus thing. And, you know, when you have money, his lawyers, you know, said that he was at risk for the coronavirus and then he was released earlier than whatever. Right. Um, <clears throat> but uh, it was rumored that he was going to be dropping music this week. And uh, in Times Square, Apparently, there was a big ass billboard with his face on it with a single and like a, the, the name for his single and a date, which was today's date. Um, and then this morning, uh, he announced that he was going to go on IG Live and, you know, talk about everything, promote the single and everything. And uh, this is all West Coast time. So this is like 8 a.m. And uh, I'm seeing this as I'm, you know, working and I'm like, what the fuck? What is going to happen? Because like, this is the first time I think any of us have ever seen like someone who openly snitched, not just on like one person, but snitched on a whole organization. Right. And pretty much brought it down by himself. And he's going to come out and say what exactly, especially in this genre where this is a genre that openly, um, for better or worse, and sometimes I'm just, you know, I'm generalizing, but I don't believe in this, but we've been, we've done this, so I'm just going to say it. We've openly, you know, been super misogynistic to women, very hateful to gays, like a whole bunch of stuff we, we, that, that hip hop has done. But also there's like backstories and there's like all great things hip hop has done as well. Um, but this is a genre that has also openly denounced snitches, snitching, all this type of stuff. It's not something that we, you know, uh, play with at all. And I was like, what the fuck's going to happen? You know, when he goes into the live, is, is anyone going to be there? Is it going to be just like a like, couple, like 10 people or whatever? Or like, are people going to go in and be like, I'm going to kill you now? Like, I know where you are or whatever. Is he going to like cover his face? Like, how, like how's he going to do this and everything? <clears throat> so I wasn't going to watch any of it because i i can't support that that's not something i can't openly just be like oh even though i know what it is and even though i like as an adult i'm just like oh this is all like marketing and stuff still just in my mind i'm like you you did a whole bunch of fuck shit and then yeah. you you sitting here and all the people that you locked up is nah i'm not gonna do that and especially since uh, when when it did come out that he snitched, everyone on social media was just like, no, nah, cancel, never going to fuck with them again, blah, right, blah, blah. Right. Because of that, he should have had, like, almost no views right. on the thing, None. right? But None. it was trending. <laughs> so here, this goes to my point, right? So at, like, 8, it was probably, like, the trending top. It was, like, number one. But I was like, it's 8 o'clock, West Coast time. So I'm like, well, duh, it's probably, like, the first. Nothing's really happening right now, right? Prior to this, the thing that we're really going to get into, um, there was an arrest made in the shooting in Georgia. That was that was last night. So that was the thing that was trending last night. And then I think I, as I was going to sleep, it was still trending. I was like, number one. So I expected that to take over his whatever, right? And it eventually it did with some other stuff. <clears throat> so around like 11, 12 o'clock, uh, I switched back to Twitter and he's trending number one again. And I'm like, what the fuck? But now I click on his name to see, like, are they still talking about the same thing? And now, you know, the single's out. Uh, now people are like, you know, the same people who are like, I can't, like, I can't believe y'all defending this and everything like that. Like, you know, or I can't believe y'all supporting this rat and everything like that. And I'm like, okay, same stuff. But then I start seeing people who are now posting, like, screenshots of the, of the, of the, of the live and everything. And I see the number. And up until that point, I think Tory Lanez had the record for the most people on, on Instagram Live. I think it was like 300,000 people. Um, 
<laughs> he he had two million people. Two million I, people. Two million people on oh, on Instagram that, Live. <clears throat> that Twitter was a place you could trust, you know, where your word was your, your bond, man. Just whatever you said was the truth. <laughs> y'all have taught us that when y'all say something on social media, y'all mean it. <laughs> when something's canceled, it's canceled. It's done for. Okay. Um, but two million people, right? And then I saw like someone recorded like a part of the uh, of the live, and to see like you know everyone who's been on IG live, you know you can see the name scroll as they comment and stuff. Yeah. Um, to see like the people in there, it was all like it was a lot of verified checks in there. So it was a lot of celebrities and people who were supporting this, right? And <laughs> at one point, the last thing I saw on it was someone posted. He started, I don't know if he started that way or whatever, but there was a part where he was playing the cops theme and he was dancing with two girls. He was basically gloating and he had like a picture, like not a picture, but he had like handcuffs in his hand. And he was like going like this to the camera and everything. He put the handcuffs over his eyes and it was just like, it was like a big joke, right? <clears throat> and it, I was just like, you know what? we have to be honest. Like everyone has to be honest here with everything. Right. And that's the one thing I feel like we've been trying to push the most when it comes to this podcast and like using our platform for whatever the fuck, like to get whatever message we get across. Right. The most thing we always say is just be honest. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter how you feel. Just be honest on the shit. Right. Um, <clears throat> we gotta be honest when it comes to stuff like this. The, uh, I feel like we have to come to grips that the world that we thought we knew and everything and like what we thought that was like uh just what we thought was normal is no longer like it doesn't exist anymore. It's all gone. All of it from yeah. from how you address people to how you communicate to how you freaking just do daily day-to-day -day things. It's all switched. It all switched, right? And I feel like everyone, um, and even like during the um, during the prohibition uh, period of the world, like when they try when they removed alcohol and stuff, right? The thing that remained the same was was the streets or, or the underworld, right? right? Everything remained the same in that world because we was like, oh, we still gonna get ours. However, right? I think finally this is the first time where literally I think like the term the streets and all the stuff that you know we've either grown up around or if you're a part of cool or whatever um i think this is like officially like it's over it's this is not it doesn't exist anymore it, the association with like hip-hop and the streets it's not yeah it's not a thing anymore not it's yeah. it doesn't exist it all of it is a myth it's all a myth and i feel like just an image that they have yeah. to keep up. Yeah, all right. exactly. Um, and I really want people to understand that, first of all, for the people who, because a lot of people who were uh, commenting like, oh, like, he's a, <clears throat> you know, he snitched, uh, like, I can't believe it. And, oh, you better, you better have the same energy when Bobby Schmurda comes home and everything like that. Let's just, again, be honest. That kid, and he and he's a kid. Um, at least he was when the situation was going down. Now he's no longer a kid. Cause I think I think he got arrested at I don't know if he was nineteen or twenty, but now he's like twenty two, twenty three now. So the whole like excuse of being a kid you can't use anymore. He's over twenty one. He can buy all these things now. Doesn't 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 apply. Um, <clears throat> there was a time where i feel like people kind of looked at the whole situation like oh if you're a kid and they tell you you're facing xyz amount of years and you didn't do any of the stuff that you know they're trying to pin on you and everything and then the people around you you know uh, allegedly um uh, threatened you kidnapped you threatened your family had sex with your with your girl and everything like that would you do this and that and everything like that for all those people 
let me be clear that I don't think any of the people who were commenting, uh, oh, you know, he's a snitch. I can't believe in all this stuff. Y'all would do the same thing. And we yeah. just, we just got to be honest about it. Right. And people don't want to spend an hour in jail, let alone a day, let alone a month, let alone a year, let alone years. And he was facing over 40 years. So all this whole thing about, oh, yeah, like how can you, whatever, all this stuff. Again, you guys are using the logical part of your brain. And it's like, oh, I'm not going to tell on so blah, blah, blah. Well, yeah, because in your mind, you wouldn't be in that situation. In your mind, you're thinking about it as like, what would be a situation that you would be in which you would have to, uh, someone would question you about someone. And you would be like, nah, you're using yeah. like your version of it, which is like, oh, if I was at work and someone said, hey, did Bobby steal this? But I know Bobby stole it. I'd be like, no, nah, Bobby didn't steal that. Never. But I'm like, yeah, you're not facing <laughs> years in prison and never seeing your family again, you know? Like, yeah. It's also you, when you're thinking about it in your head, it's like this perfect situation where like, all I got to say is this and that's that. It's done. It's like when you plan out a fight in your head. Yeah, like, oh, I'm gonna just duck and then punch and then people don't defend in your in your yeah. fucking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they don't think about the part when he's gonna dodge it and yeah. he's gonna kind of hit you, punch back. Uh, yeah, like, Where did that fist come from? Uh, <laughs> why it hurts? Um, <laughs> why it hurts? Ow! <laughs> Early smarts, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you do that, buddy? Ow! Ow! See, I was just trying to punch you. See, hey. <laughs> you're making me mad. <laughs> Um, uh, so like, let's just dispel that right now. A lot of people, yeah. you know, um, if I feel like only on, that only applied to street people. If you grew up in a street family, if you live by street morals, that applies to those people. Right. So boom, now let's go to them. They have all the right to say, I'm not going to fuck with this dude. Right. Cause I can't condone this, that, and third, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Right. Again, let's be honest. Most of those people were not purchasing his music. They were not buying his merch. They were not going to his shows. So why the fuck does it matter? In a nutshell, this what this proved today is that the bottom line will always be if it sells, we don't care. We Yeah, if we're making money off of it, who gives a shit? We do not care. And a lot of people, like I say, don't want to be honest about it, but you got to be honest about it right some of the some of the people that that people really like defend and really like oh, they champion and oh i love this person so much and everything like that right that kid just can't go and be like i'm gonna put a song out i'm gonna go on ig live i'm gonna do all this and that and everything there's a team behind him right his label the same people that probably control your favorite artist control him. So in that case, if it comes out, you know, that, oh, X, Y, and Z is also signed to the same label that has this one artist. Do you support that one artist as well? You know, like, 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 would you stop supporting him? Because he's now a part of the same clown show that this is right. Right. But we don't want to get to the nitty gritty of all this stuff, right? And that's the thing that I'm just like, everyone is really, they're being so surface level with this whole thing. And I feel like it's something that is so much deeper. And and the issue isn't that, oh, this kid snitched and like, why are we supporting it? The issue is not only did he, (laughs) not only did he snitch on things that he, I, even though I don't condone it, I can at least understand if he snitched on stuff that he didn't do, you know, and he was getting accused of. I can understand that. But when you openly, (laughs) when you openly snitch on people who did stuff under your orders, that's insane, right? (laughs) Because they didn't, they wouldn't have done it if you didn't tell them to do it. Right, that's like if the boss he was like, "I'll snitch on everyone." Yeah, right. Leave me alone, I'm the boss. <laughs> yeah, right. right? Like, just it's mind-boggling, right? So, I, I can understand that, but I, I I can't personally condone someone, you know, who has ruined the lives 
of not only the men that he put behind bars, but also their kids, their families, whatever, right? I can't condone it. I'm not going to be a part of it. However, I'd be blind to sit here and say, he's not the one who's telling him to do this. He's not, right? Because everyone's like, oh, I got, like I saw something after and they were like, oh, you know, he's stupid. He just put a huge target on his head and everything like that. Again, stop it. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> like, like, once again, I'm going to keep saying this. This is the theme yeah. uh, of this whole episode. <clears throat> the streets we know don't exist anymore. Nobody is going to touch him. You want to know why? The only way he's going to get touched is by his own stupidity. That's yeah. it. All right. If he does what he used to do, like goes on like into these hoods, announces right. his presence until they should, yeah, right. then, then then he'll yeah. get touched, right? Yeah. But other than that, once again, he has a whole team behind him. They're not gonna <clears throat> put him in a situation to mess up the money. Yeah. And marketing wise, this was the best plan. You were a clown before, everyone loved that shit. Come back as a bigger clown. Simple. It should work, right? Because yeah. if he comes back and he's just like all apologetic, like, hey, I'm just, I'm going to put out, I, I still want to make music. So here and blah, blah, blah. No way it would have been two million. No, no way it would have been even close to like a thousand people At tuning all. in, you know? Exactly. So, but like, marketing wise, best strategy. And the thing that makes it so ill, and, and, and I'm not like praising him, I'm just praising, I'm, I'm highlighting what we're seeing because it's not even, like I said, Back in 2007, I remember, uh, you know, it was the whole 50 Cent versus Kanye West uh, album versus album thing. And when Kanye West beat 50, everyone was, like, everyone was like, oh, this is the end of gangster rap and everything like that. Right. And I was just like, <laughs> such a such a like, why are we trying to end like a a, a subsector of rap? I don't get it. Like, yeah. like it, it didn't do anything wrong or whatever. Like, but, you know. And, uh, of course, that wasn't true. But fast forward to this, again, we have to be honest. A lot of the, the things that people listen to and believe in and everything like that, we just got to be honest with the people who are listening to because now I'm realizing that us being older, we're, we're, we able, we're able to, and we have a platform where we can tell people the truth about all this shit, right? The artists that you guys listen to and stuff like that, they're from areas where this stuff did happen. I'm pretty sure they did some of the stuff that they rap about, right? To a certain level. To a certain level, right? However, again, using common sense, no one's going to openly go on a record and lay out X, Y, Z. I did this, that, and a third. (laughs) And Well, unless you're that one guy that got arrested for that. Didn't he get arrested for that? Which is Bobby Shmurda. <laughs> like, like, so, so again, like, and, and uh, uh, I'm trying to like really navigate the waters of this whole thing because I, I want people to really understand what I'm trying to get. What, what my point is? My point is not to be like B six nine because there's better. No, what I'm saying is stop <clears throat> believing in this stuff the way everyone believes in it. It's all like ridiculous. It's all ridiculous. Yeah. Like. It's like uh, watching movies and it goes like inspired by a true story or based on a true story. It's like, this is not what actually happened. This is based right. on something I heard about that actually did happen about that research that I wrote about. And right. Whatever. And this does not mean take these inspired events and then try to recreate them. This does not mean that. Right. But what, what has happened is with like with Shmurda, who I salute completely because he was really about the stuff he was rapping about, which is awesome. Right. Dope. Yeah. Um. However, he did the to me the stand up thing, which was when his whole squad got taken down and got raided. He could have easily taken a plea deal, but the people in his squad would have taken, specifically his his right hand man, would have taken a longer sentence if he would have gotten a shorter sentence. His lawyer said the only way that he's going to get a shorter sentence is if you take the same sentence sentence as him which was seven years. So he had a choice to make. I could do five, probably be out in like three with like good behavior and I can get back rocking. However, my friend is going to be in here here for 12 years. Or 
I can sit in with him for seven years and we both get out at the same time. He chose the latter, right? Stand up, commendable, right? I can understand that because I understand where that, that, that world because of like the people I grew up with. So I'm like, understand it, right? However, <laughs> what I tell someone who is like younger than me or what I tell someone who's in a similar situation, do the same thing. No, yeah. I wouldn't. I would, I'd literally be like, do what you do, what you got to do, bro. Cause at the end of the day, me judging you for whatever the fuck you're going to do, isn't going to change anything. Right. Yeah. Because you sitting behind bars, me being like, man, you a real nigga, man. Like it won't change the fact that you're behind bars. Also me telling you, um, <laughs> you know, oh, if you snitch, I'm never gonna talk to you. <laughs> Will not change the fact that you're out. So who cares? Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, like, man, I'm free, but <sighs> Dwayne not talking to me no more. He's not my friend. He's like, like, oh man, is oh, it even worth it? The streets don't love me. <laughs> <laughs> like, the streets don't love me. <laughs> like again, we have to be Skips honest. Over to Seven Eleven. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we have to be. We have to be honest that my grandma used to always say that the. uh the um the coldest thing that could, that could ever happen is you dying in the middle of the street right eyes open that's the biggest thing about this like the streets don't love you people got to get that get that mentality out of their head it does not it doesn't they don't they don't love you it doesn't love you like that whole thing was something that was created and then, like i said going back to marketing this very dangerous and very stupid like thing or this uh culture which is what we call the streets and i'm also i can say i'm a part of the problem because i openly say and i do i'm not gonna say here in front i love my neighborhood i love the streets because like what we see i understand it to a point of like it's very simple to me it's like you do something consequence you choose to not do something consequence very simple right it's not complex it's not like i don't have to walk outside and be like oh this person might be this or they could be this. But if I address them like this, they might get offended and do this. Like, no, it's very cut and dry, right? So I can appreciate it and be like, oh, this is dope, whatever. However, I'm not going to sit here and tell you, do I want to live in like my neighborhood for my whole, no. No, no one would. No one should. Like, that's stupid. To even like think that way is crazy. Yeah. Like, be like, oh no, I want to be in my neighborhood my whole life and everything but however i want to be successful and i want to get money but i want to always be in the same spot no because what happens is going back to the jordan documentary michael jordan said he was like the one thing that he found out after winning his first couple of championships was he was like it doesn't matter he was like when you're a role model They'll still try to tear you down. They'll still, try to, they'll still try to come after you. They'll still try to say whatever they can to get you to crack. When you don't win, it doesn't matter. They'll still try to come after you. They'll still try to say whatever to get you to crack. Like everything literally is just based off of how can we try to tear this person down? And he said it himself, he was like, if I could do it all over again, he was like, I would have never been a role model. Because he did in his mind and a lot, which we saw, he did everything right. He had he had no scandals, didn't cheat on his wife, you know, at least, you know, during his playing time. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, model citizen, the whole campaign was be like Mike. Right. He did all this stuff. And he was like, even with all that, they still tried to try to, like, get me out of here. So he was like, what was the point of it? It didn't matter. Right. right. Why and, not be the bad guy? Right. And um and. That's the thing with this, with this whole Takashi thing. I hope that, like, older people, OGs and everything, tell their, either their little homies, their kids, whatever, right? When you look at this stuff for what it really is, it has nothing to do with, like, oh, you'll be respected or, oh, um, you know, support your neighborhood and all that stuff. Fuck all that. Because at the end of the day, like I said, those people will not be wherever you're going to end up. If you end up successful, they're not gonna be there. Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna get successful. They're gonna they're gonna want to come with you. Then you realize that they can't come with you because because they're, they're then st- they start leeching off of you. Then then you get rid of them. So they're gone. <laughs> or the flip side of it is 
you try to, you know, be respectable and stand up, you do something stupid, you end up locked away forever. They're not there with you. They don't come visit you. Uh, you know, and that's the end of the story. Either way, you're going to lose in this situation, right? That kid made a choice. His choice is his choice. Can we judge him for it? Sure. However, <laughs> <Of course. laughs> sure, because that's, that's another thing. Once you become a public figure, or once you become a part of the internet, you're going to get judged. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So um, can we judge him for it? Sure. However, should we sit here and play like the holier than thou aspect of it? No, I feel like not unless you live by those certain set of rules or whatever, you shouldn't be able to speak on that. Because that, and then also if you're a person that actually did the stand up thing, right? Then you could be like, right, say yeah. whatever you want. You say whatever shit. you want. If if you if you did the stand up thing in in those situations, and you could speak on that. However, if you're just a civilian, like all of us are at this point, my question would be, why do you care? Why do you care? Because it's the cool thing to do. It's the cool thing to say. Like, what a snitch, and we're not going to support snitches. And it's like, just the cool thing to do. I remember. Uh, I think I told you this happened, but um, at my job, like right before he had ended up uh, testifying. See, he's about to testify. No, he had yeah. started. He had started to testify, and of course, uh, <laughs> it started to come out the things he was saying on the stand. And at my job, they were talking about it. And then, like, these people who, like, and I could see that these people didn't grow up where we grew up. You know, they're not, they're nowhere near a part of anything or even seen, like, a part of that lifestyle. Yeah. They were so flagrantly being, like, like, oh, my God, he's a snitch. Like, how could you? And, like, oh, I, I, like, like, I just can't, like, and everything like that. And I'm, like y'all telling each other here with no provocation with no nothing, nothing other than the person slightly annoyed you yeah like y'all do that here and you and you want to and you trying to down this kid like i don't get it right so that's why i'm, I'm looking at this like everything different like uh, i talked to my cousin about it today and i was just like yo this is wild and he was like this shit is trippy because i was literally sitting here like I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> like, right. But then, like, uh, the the smart part of my brain was like, wait a minute. This was going to happen. Like, why are yeah. we, like, questioning this? Let me ask you this. Um, so regardless if you were a person either still fucking with 6 9 or the people saying, uh, you know, snitch, never going to support you, blah, blah, blah. Right. Either way, if you were one of those people and you were on his live, you're mm-hmm. supporting him, right? Yes. Okay, Please. so you're supporting him either way. Does the excuse of FOMO, like, excuse anything when you're like, oh, I, I, I didn't want to support him, but I didn't want to miss out on what's going to happen because I wanted to comment on it later? No. So it doesn't excuse anything. He's like, no. You can't watch that shit, watch his live, and then go back and claim, oh, he snitched, not supporting his, not going to listen to his album drop. No, because, again, at that point, uh, uh, it goes back to clout chasing, right? So then you're using his energy to boost yourself. So one, it wasn't, it wasn't a, an honest thing because you just did that to get yourself exposure. Two, you could do the same thing. I just outlined that I did. I'm not going to support it and everything like that. Oh, uh, people have, you know, screenshot it, whatever. Okay, let me see, like, what, what this is. All right, this is that. Cool. I don't need to, I don't need to, like, I don't need to go and, like, look at the, look at the dude. Yeah. Because I, the, no, I got, from that one clip I watched, which was him dancing with the handcuffs and playing the cops thing, clown. Yeah, moving exactly on. what you thought it was going to be. Yeah, it was like, clown, moving yeah. on. <laughs> like, I don't need to keep, I don't need to be like, oh, he's going to do some crazier stuff. I got to just click on it. No. Yeah. That's what, that's what I feel like people's excuses were to justify clicking on the live. Because two million people... Come on, that like most of that shit was the people going like he's canceled, he's a snitch, whatever, not supporting right. him. So I want to say like most of those people, their excuses was just like, oh, I, I gotta see what's gonna happen. Right. Like you're really gonna miss out on it. It's gonna be huge, blah blah blah. And then this is what fucking happens. You you uh basically all that bullshit you were talking about the streets, blah blah blah, all that crap. You know it's fake at that point. Exactly. 
Exactly. And that's the main idea of this thing. Like, the streets today is the same as wrestling. It's the same thing. It's a bunch of fake entities that create issues that are basically predetermined and you know what's going to happen. It's a theater production. It's a theater. Like that, like, and I want to be clear that I'm not dissing people who really do do what they do in the streets. I'm not, right? But what I'm saying is the act of what the streets have become, you should be aware that you're a part of something that's being marketed to the youth as something to do, but it gets them in trouble. So it is theater, like at that point, because look, look at it. The the artists who have been the most successful probably since uh I'd say it's two thousand and five. No, since Kanye. It's, it's two thousand and five, right? The artists have been the most successful, the biggest being Drake, right? I could take Drake. Drake came out as the dude who sung in rap, but he was all in his feels, right? He was in his feelings and everything, and then the girls loved him. Guys were kind of fitty fitty on him. Like some dudes like this, some dudes were like can't do this and everything. I was one of them. Can't do it. Too soft for me. Not into it. Right. Fast forward a couple of years, I was just like, dude's under. He's hey, he's undeniable. <laughs> he's got hits, man. I yeah. can't help it. <laughs> I, I get jiggy with it. Can't help it. Right. But the thing that switched also in his music that w- would attract me, but of course, again, I'm being honest here, so I'm just gonna be honest. Started to attract me is his. Uh, his content or his slick talk and everything, it got more street oriented. So I'm like, oh, okay, now he's not sound like a sucker. I can support this a little more, right? Because I'm like, I'm not saying, oh, my favorite song is this soft song he made and everything like that. No, my favorite song of his is this hard song he made or whatever. Cool, right? Fast forward to now, all my favorite Drake songs, all the songs that he sings. <laughs> <laughs> because I grew up and I was like, this dude isn't even he didn't do any of this stuff yeah i could see that like so why am i gonna sit here and be like drake's so tough drake's so oh drake and everything right but look at him like his uh recently you know he put out a bunch of songs outlining how you know mob ties his whole his whole ovo his whole ovo label his uh his his sign for the label that he throws up all all his videos is an o but the way he throws it up is like this which, if you gangbanger, if you know, you know what that is. Yes, so, we all know what that means. So no need to explain it. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, um, uh, but it's like it's so similar to something that we know. Yeah. Right. So again, using and then even his last, you know, hit that whole uh, Tusi Slide song. Right. It's a song that is. Is fun because it's a dance, but the whole concept of the song is he's talking about. He's talking about basically anywhere you at, I'm a slide on your block and I'm gonna get you. That's the whole point of the song, which is again street talk. But he just put it in a form of that's all bubble gum and dancey, and I'm gonna do a little dance and I'm gonna sing and all this shit, and everyone's gonna like it. Marketing, it's all marketing because he's not gonna do any of that. You know it, he's not. Yeah. Right, the same thing. I can keep going down the list. Right, I think I think YG is dope, whatever. Right, but YG got popular because YG was from a place and from a hood that is well known out here. You put that in the videos. You put you make that very active with him, right? It's hard to turn. It's hard to. Uh, put kids and be like that's not cool when you see a bunch of people wearing red having fun and everything and they're all it looks like it's one big party it's hard to, it's hard to tell kids like nah that ain't that it's not like that all the time yeah. i guarantee you it's like not. once in a year thing maybe like like or not even that like i'm pretty sure like it's a weekly thing but it's like there's so much more fuck shit around that yeah like these are the fun times the stylish fun times we're all right. just having fun and then the other half that which you don't see. <laughs> that you don't see, right? Yeah. But blew up. And we can just keep going down the list. Like most of these rappers that blow up or whatever, they either nowadays, which is funny again, which is why the whole the whole Kanye being fifty this is the end of gangster rap. No. All they did was just repackaged it and they just took out the people who were really doing stuff 
You just replaced them with people who are just rep- representatives of people actually doing stuff. That's all they did. So that's why I'm telling people just to – it's okay to like the music. It's okay to think it's cool. It's okay to dance to it. It's okay to, to recite the lyrics, but also know what you're listening to. You're listening to an artist, period. The same way where we can watch a movie – and someone can do a, a role where they're a gang member, they're not a gang member. Yeah. That's that's them playing a character for whatever, whatever. So when this person's doing this, he's representing uh wherever he's from or a life that he knows about. That does not solely mean that this person is doing everything that they're talking about. Because that would be dumb. Yeah. And also like at its base. Oh shit! At its base, this whole thing—you <laughs> just fly away. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> I wasn't tethered. Six nine, six nine comes in. <laughs> oh no! I circle around the globe. I come back, and we'll be right back <laughs> with these messages. <laughs> um, fuck it for you. Okay, yeah. So on the, at the base of all this shit, um, it's the it's the fantasy of being the. Uh, the package of the selling is uh, the tough guy, the tough badass that can do whatever, that doesn't get disrespected, and when he does, he like he fucking lays the law down, shit like right. that. That's that's the fantasy, right? And all this shit. Right. And yeah, they repackaged it to, to whatever Kanye is doing, whatever killed gangster rap, all that crap. But really, they've used that shit in every genre since like the beginning of uh, fucking recorded music. Exactly. Like, if you look back, all, all the cool guys, all the, like, the main ones, all that shit, they're all just, like, suave motherfuckers that are tough, and there's always, like, a moment in their career, if they're big enough, like, they do, like, a fake stage, like, someone bumps into them, they fight, blah, 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 always a tough guy, bam, right. on film. <coughs> right. So, all this shit's just been, it's never gonna die. No. Like, nothing's ever gonna, because everyone wants to be the tough guy, the tough, cool guy. Right. That doesn't, doesn't, like, stutter when he talks, that doesn't trip when he walks and all that shit, so. Right there's no point in fighting it. It's just as, as, as long as you recognize it as a theater production, as is just like this, it's a, it's a character for the most part, it's a character. Right. Um, then it, it's, it's kind of harmless. Right. But it, again, where it's, it's not because we see a whole bunch of trending videos and challenges that, Oh, do this crazy shit and you're cool and tough and blah, blah, blah. And it's real life and all this shit. I don't, yeah. Yeah, it it was just like it was clear that there was like a real disconnect uh between like art and just life today and I was just like holy shit, I didn't think it was this deep. Yeah. But I realized today with with those numbers and what he was able to do because I'm pretty sure that song he he put out it's going to chart. Yeah. It's going to chart. And I'm yeah. like you everyone out there who's going to for the next couple of weeks they're gonna say like oh y'all y'all are 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 dumbasses how can you support this and everything like that we're like you're also bringing light to the same thing that we're bringing light to the only difference is i'm gonna talk about this one time which is today like after this or whatever unless he does something where it's like we have to talk about it, which is like oh he got caught you know in a rape or something like yeah. other than that if it's rap so i'm not gonna talk about it because the next the next big thing i think with him is gonna be who he's gonna have featured on his like next single or right. who, he, who he's like uh who he is like on a, on a track where he's featured right you know that's that's when it's gonna be like okay this whole cancel bullshit is it really true that's gonna be the real test well no today was was clear this ca- that cancel shit is not because he didn't go nowhere Right, but right. no, I'm saying on the other half of like all these, you know, a whole bunch of artists oh. were like, I'm, I'm not supporting, I'm not fucking with him, blah, blah, blah. Let's see who he oh, has yeah. featured on his next single, or let's see who he, who he features on, uh, you know? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, exactly, exactly. So. And, and and that's why, like, uh, you know, we've said multiple times here, like, stop idolizing these people. They're just people. Yeah. Um, that's why, because yeah. at the end, at the end of it all, like this kid is just a kid who's talented and he knows how to make music that's it yeah right however he he his he rose to fame because he played a character really well so well that he got himself in trouble because he was into that character so much however like he snapped out of it at the right time to be like oh no i'm not I'm not like whatever, right? <laughs> like, and and it's just that if he could snap out of it, then that means that everyone 
who consumes this stuff can also snap out of it. Yeah. Uh, 50 it's, cent- it's like you said, though, but it's like you said, uh, it's like the same as wrestling, right? Right. Do you see people imitating wrestling like it's real out in the world? Like they're actually doing those moves out in the world and like really hurting people and shit like that? No. Fucking everybody else take a cue from the wrestling community. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's fake. It's fake. <laughs> like, and when you when you do see like people imitate the moves, it's it's basically like them faking the moves and doing how they can and shit right. like that. So. Right. And but like the thing with wrestling, wrestling comes from the actual form of Olympic wrestling. So yeah. it comes from an actual thing, right? A lot of wrestlers who wrestle can actually wrestle. Yeah. But then, then there's a whole side of wrestlers who can't wrestle. But they know how to entertain people, a la John Cena, The Rocks, and all things like that. They don't know how to Olympic wrestle, like a Kurt Angle and yeah. everything like that. However, they're so good at being entertaining and they're athletic that they can play the part of someone who blah, 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 right? And that's the thing. That's what I'm talking about. Like, we, if we can decipher that, okay, this is all entertainment, cool. I'm going to watch this for two hours. I'm going to go back to my life. Then it should be the same thing for this stuff. Like, music is key it's essential for life because it it motivates you it gets you through times and everything like that but it should have no outward effect to where it should make you do or say like do certain things that you wouldn't already do 50 cent said something this week that was really dope he said that the music that you listen to when you're like between the ages of like 11 to 16 he said it shapes you as a person and he was like, the music that resonates with me the most is the music from when I was that age. He was like, I don't, he's all the stuff that I've made and everything like that. It all comes from that. It doesn't really, like, it comes, well, it's my life, but it comes from, like, he's like, that's what resonated with me. That's why I wanted to do that, right? Yeah. So that's why I, I, I was like, oh, you know, I really wanted to highlight that with this because I'm like, for a lot of kids, they're listening to this stuff and it's resonating with them right now but i'm like i i hope that someone tells them like explain the whole 696 situation to them like oh this this dude that you believe in or whatever he's he's not real he's a character the same way that you can watch you know freaking if you can watch the dude who's spider-man now tom middleton tom holland tom holland all right whatever uh, if you can watch tom holland and you uh, sorry my angry nerd just came up <laughs> tom holland bitch nigger and he's real he's a real spider-man okay <laughs> real things around <laughs> but, that's what i was gonna say though if you can understand that this dude who is great at playing spider-man once the the camera stop rolling webs don't come out of his arms if you can understand that, you should understand that this dude, actually a mechanical device that he puts around his wrist, and then he like that's how he should swipe it and cut his arms. Just just real quick. I, I know that wasn't your point, but I had to clarify it just really fast. Continue. What the fuck <laughs> ever. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You mean to tell me that in the character he plays, he can't? It, it doesn't come out of his arms anymore. No, it uh, it's like a mechanical device that he built himself, and he has like uh that spider filling thing. Right. And, and there's cartridges, and then he, like, pushes a button, does this thing, you know, pushes the button, and then the spider webs come out. So then they switched it from the actual comics to where he... No, no, the it. comics, that's how it is. They switched it in Spider-Man oh, 1 with uh, Tobey Maguire. Oh, they switched it until he just comes out of his... Yeah, I people were really upset it. about that, but I didn't care at the time. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, nice. cool, Spider-Man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like that. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but yeah, we know that this whatever right he's not he can't crawl up walls right um then we should understand that when this kid raps or when these other people rap they're literally rap is the art of storytelling they're they're telling stories that is it right there there are some who they are a part of a a part of that lifestyle so much that they do abide by those certain codes however they're not they're most of the time if they're smart they will not jeopardize their career to prove a point yeah and we've seen it happen, like when when they do actually do the things that they do, like DMX. He got caught up, right? Right. With something that he used to do back in his former life, pre uh, rap life. Right. And what happened to him? Fucking disappeared from music. Yeah, and it took him forever to get his life back on track, which he's getting get yep. back on track. But it's like, and that's the thing. That's that's why I really wanted to highlight all this stuff because I feel like now. Like all these entities, the powers that be, 
they put these people in positions because they glorify gang culture but they glorify it so much and so well that they're like yes glorify it because the more of these little kids that follow you and they'll do the shit that you talk about in your music the more that will they'll get caught up the more that they'll go to jail the more that this whole prison industrial complex will continue to spin the more that we'll, we'll continue to keep doing what we're doing so yeah. it's, it's like uh, that's what i'm trying to like get people to understand like the it's not a coincidence that this kid came out of jail and he had all this money he has apparently a house with two baddies who just live with him like it's not a coincidence that he was able to like record music quick as hell and now he's able to start promote it's not a coincidence yeah. Like it's set it's up planned. It was planned. Like so I'm like, if you can understand that, understand that when they're when they're you know, when you're dancing to whatever and you're like thinking about this music, it does have a psychological effect on you. It it's to some people who aren't mentally like tough enough or, or just mentally like advanced enough to understand this is fake, it will make you do some of the dumb shit that they say in their music. And then you'll be like, Oh shit, I just got in trouble. Because now I shot somebody because, oh, you know, so-and-so said, step on my shoes, give me the blues, and I got to do it. You know, something. You know, like, well, you did step on your shoes. I mean. so, so, so you have to now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the song said it. Um, so Sorry about this, actually. I, I don't want to. I have no choice. <laughs> 50 said it. Damn it. Um, but that's the, that's the thing, man. Top like, on what you're saying, too, though. Uh, I feel like people should understand. I don't know if they do understand actually. If you if you're let's say you're you're one of these people that are actually doing this shit, like you're running drugs, guns, whatever. If you're doing that and you're like in the middle of that career and then all of a sudden you find out that you could rap like really well and your shit's taking off, right. you're not gonna continue to run guns and drugs. You're probably just gonna slowly pull away and then just right. have a rap career. Cause I could make a whole bunch of money, like pretty much maybe the same amount of money, right. way less risk. Right. So let's like I don't know. I don't know if people understand that shit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but also that's again that just goes back to how we've been conditioned. Yeah. Like, um, there's a rapper out uh right now who's super popular. His name is Lil Baby. Not the baby, it's Lil Baby. It's different. Um but he uh he uh um he recently he was on IG Live and he said <laughs> He said, I think he said if his label doesn't give him five million dollars, he's gonna he's gonna go back to selling drugs. Cause like he was just like <laughs> in like in in, in in the live, he was like, I'm bored. I can't do shows to actually get money now. I'm just gonna go back to hustling. Like, why the fuck am I even gonna, you know what I mean? Like, why am I gonna sit here and make this music? Cause he was like, one, I'm bored, two, I can't do any shows how am I supposed to make money right now? So right. By, he was like, I'm a hustler. Like, and by him hustling, he's pretty much like, I'm going to go back to selling drugs. You know what I mean? Because I was doing that before and I was very good at it. So why should I stop? Cause why? Because I'm, because I now have all this money and I'm like super famous and a rapper. Who cares? Right. Um, and I, I, I got his point, but I was just like, he has to be joking because like, you can't, you can't sell drugs as a little baby now. Like the dude before could sell drugs, but yeah. little baby can't sell drugs. <laughs> like no, like you can't drive around. Like I get it, but then I don't because everyone knows you now. It'd be it'd be impossible, right? I get the the sentiment though, right? I like where his saying. head's at. Like oh, I could just go back to being who I was before. Yeah. Uh, not doing that though. Yeah, you can't, right? And yeah. that's the thing that. I just want people to understand about all this stuff. The the main point, like the two main points about this Takashi stuff is one, streets are a myth. Two, this stuff is all entertainment. It is not real, right? And even the parts that are real, they're no longer real by the time you hear it. Yeah. And this is not happening in real time. This person is not, he's not on the track shooting at people and rapping. It's not happening, right? It's not happening. It's called sound effects. It's called sound effects. Okay. Um, but that's the two biggest things. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see because, like I said, this this song's gonna chart. People are gonna try to do all these mental gymnastics to try to reason with themselves why that they should condone this. 
Yeah, it's going to be very funny to watch. You're going to see a lot of people who, like I said, we're just going to be like, oh, no. You know, fuck him. He's a snitch. I would never give it a couple months. It's like, yeah, you know, I got him on the song because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, he a good dude. You know, he, you know, he was a kid when he. He's uh, always been good to me. You know, he never he, snitched on me. He had snitched on me and he was a kid. In my opinion, if you a kid, you can snitch. You know, that's how I feel. And to be real, 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 to be real, 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 got to make this money. <laughs> I got to. I make so, so, and then, but even like if, if a rapper came out and said that, I respect it so much more. He's going to be like, he's the biggest artist. We need this, this song to pop. He's, I'm going to put him on it. I don't care. And I'd yeah. be like, cool. Like, it, it's just that they they lie and they, they they lie and they try to market this bullshit, and it's like you're, come on man, just I don't know. I mean, they have to keep up the image. If they don't keep up the image, then that's it. People stop fucking with them, unless they all come out and be like, "Yeah, this is all an image." But uh, that's again, the only way. That, but it's just it it's only rap that does that, and that's my issue. Because like in in rock and R and B and stuff, you can get old. You can get old. You can gracefully age. You can still put out albums that they'll still go platinum and it'll just be fine. It'll just whatever, right? Yeah. But for some reason in rap, like we we want these like people people want Fifty Cent to still be the same dude who got shot nine times and you know it's like no now he's a multi 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 millionaire who yeah. like owns companies and stuff. why would he do that why like just, i think those people never had like a big life change right you know so they're like oh i've always been this person no matter what's happened to me and blah 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 it's like it's because i think life has has gradually changed for you so yeah you could sort of say the same person but right. when shit just completely <coughs> changes from what you were born into and now what you, where you are now, like, uh, i.e. the fucking 50 Cent, right? Uh, you're not going to be the same person. No fucking way you can be. That goes back to last week's episode with the whole, uh, we, they want people to stay exactly how they are when they, when they, when they met them. They don't want them yeah. to, to change, even though that person's changed. Like, they've, they've gone up in their life. Yeah. Why would they stay? Whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna get to something about that in a bit. But to get to the to biggest thing, the Takashi thing, more of the story is fuck it. If you really don't fuck with him or whatever, just don't watch it. Period. He'll go yeah. away a lot quicker. But the more we keep trying to put play around the fact that I'm gonna watch him, but just to prove a point, then I'm gonna tell him that he's a sellout and he's a whatever. You're just gonna keep having him here. So just stop watching it. 